Welcome to iSpring LMS. If you just signed up and aren't sure what to do next, you're in the right place. When you sign in, you'll land on the iSpring LMS dashboard in the admin portal. You're currently signed in as an admin, a person who can configure the portal, create content, and manage users. But if you want, you can easily jump to the user portal to see the LMS from a learner's perspective. In the admin portal, you can see information such as how many courses you have, the number of LMS users and groups, any assignments ready for evaluation, and new courses. The side menu will take you to other areas of the LMS, like courses, reports, trainings, users, and settings. Let's start by setting up the LMS to match your company's structure. You can create departments here by adding your personnel structure here. To make your account even more personalized, set up the appearance of the admin and user portals in the branding tab. Now, let's add learners. Select new user and fill out the required information. Or if you want to add a large number of users, use the import option to save time. To get in touch with learners, use messages over here. Okay, now let's jump into courses to look at how to add learning content. It's more convenient to store content in projects, so create your project first, then click Add here. You can create courses, learning tracks, pages, web links, and assignments, or simply upload pre-made courses, videos, or presentations here. You can also build courses using the iSpring Suite authoring tool and upload them right to the LMS. This desktop tool is fully integrated with PowerPoint, so you'll be working in a familiar environment. Once you've added the content for your course, you can enroll any user that you added to your account by selecting the course in the list and clicking Enroll Users. All enrolled people will get an email with a direct link to the course. You can also add courses and tracks to the catalog, a collection of additional learning content available to all users. There, learners will be able to self-enroll in the courses and trainings you gave them access to. To launch training right away, you can take advantage of a collection of off-the-shelf courses from iSpring Academy. Choose from expert-made courses on corporate ethics, management and leadership skills, sales mastery, and more. To monitor learner progress and training outcomes, use LMS reports. There are many types of reports, broken down by learners, courses, trainings, and other parameters. To create a report, select it from the list and set relevant filters to see exactly what you need. Analyze the results and adjust the learning plan if necessary. To get an overview of all key training progress data, use the Supervisor dashboard. Concise visual reports will help you quickly assess your team's training success. To store and share company knowledge securely, use the Knowledge Base. Create structured spaces for different departments and roles and upload important resources with controlled access here. You can also enable productivity boosting various tools like calendars, video conferencing tools, and e-learning libraries here. And there you have it. This should give you enough information to get started with iSpring LMS. If you have any questions, go ahead and use iSpring's AI Assistant. It will provide instant technical support by giving detailed answers or links to relevant help docs. Just type in your question here and get personalized help right away. Now it's time to create your own courses with iSpring Suite and upload them to your iSpring LMS portal. Good luck.